Righto, folks. Um, apologies we haven't had a bit of a roll-on, roll-off system going on with the stream tables. It would be the ideal scenario, but we've had a few issues with the scheduling and the draw and stuff, so hopefully we can get it corrected. But it looks like we've got Paul Pike and Josh Gorski. This could be an interesting attacking match, brothers. Yep. Uh, Josh just conceded the lag because it was because <laughs> it was going to land halfway back up the table. Uh, the other match is Sash Savic and Tony Massey. I would imagine that'll be a fairly attacking uh, yeah, open match as well. Probably not too many safeties there. But uh, Josh Gorski was, uh, I think he was about 7 1, 7 2 up on Stephen McCormick, and Mac had come back and got up. So it's a good win for Steve, and then got towed up by Robbo. But uh, yeah, this would be an interesting match. I reckon Pikey's the only bloke in the room that's a pool player that attacks the balls more than Josh. <laughs> Who actually rolled Pikey, do you know? No, I don't know. Uh, we can we can get that draw up though when uh, when Dan's back on his game. I'll tell you what I will say though. I reckon draw, Pikey's please, cranium mate. is looking shinier than mine at the moment. Who beat who knocked Pikey out? Tony Massey. Uh, he's uh, he's fifty something and he's an up and coming pool player, mate. He's uh, <laughs> he's learning the game. Plays in a couple of sides with me and. Uh, Kale beat Pikey 11-9, so okay, that's that's, that's pretty match. good form. So Kale was seeded pretty highly in this. Yeah, yeah so. Rusty rates him extremely highly. Yeah. Well, he rates him a lot more than he rates us, obviously, Jamie. Well, he does. But uh, yeah, fantastic young player, Kale. Actually, I played Kale a couple of years in the loser side of the big guns, and he ripped me apart. <laughs> it's the only time I played him, and he made me look stupid. So, yeah, I, I'll vouch for him being able to play the game. Well, look, you, your money's got to be on Pikey in this match, uh, without a doubt. But if well, the balls are there and, uh, and Pikey plays open and as he can, Josh will be very dangerous. Yeah, you're right. Pikey is the true pool player. He knows the... Like, he, he should know the fundamentals of both sides of the game, whereas I'm assuming Josh will just go after him every time. Yeah, and, and Pikey tact is pretty sound tactically. The once in a million frames when he decides to go that way. <laughs> And how's yourself going in the tournament, Jamie? Um, yeah, good now. I felt good after the second up. match. But yeah, earlier I was having a hissy fit and going berserk and <laughs> calling myself every name under the sun. But no, good now. But uh, it's reset time now. Basically, got to start again tomorrow. Who you got tomorrow? I got Jimmy Della. All right. So there's no there's no settling period tomorrow. It's just get on with it and play well, well straight away. I reckon I could be wrong, but I reckon if you win that and I beat Alec, we probably play each other. We would. And that wouldn't be the worst result, I wouldn't think. Oh, well, that'll be another 11-10 probably. It'll be 11-10 to one of us. Yeah. We do have uh, quite a record of having 11-10s, don't we? We do. And Josh has actually played just pretty well. And I, I reckon he's actually going to stay on this black for the middle, like if he plays the run-through. Oh, I'd be playing the run-through and you just get the half ball yep. and play the black in the corner. Oh, you reckon the corner? Yeah. I thought he'd just run through it and he'll, play, he'll hold for the middle. Oh, Wow. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's had to just play that nice with top. I actually thought there was a more angle than that. I've misjudged that. Good recovery. Think, uh, Pikey's got the one up the top. I think he's actually on the one in the middle too. Oh, he's, yeah. He's got two two great balls to, uh, to hide behind there. Yeah, if he doesn't fancy himself knocking in the double or... Um, Potting it down the rail, getting extraction. You'll see him straight away. Look for a snooker. Actually, if he could get on the right angle, which he's not far off now, Jamie, the two that are together, he could double one of them long inside the black and hide. Yep. Actually, right, he's not too far off the angle right now. Has he looked at it or not? I'd say no. I think he's just going to nudge these apart. Come off the back cushion, no, direct in. Oh, that's oh, no this good. Is ugly. You had to make sure that didn't happen there. Smash double inside the black. I think if I was going to criticise Pikey's game, it would be exactly what it's just happened there. I don't think his game plan for, for mopping up outs. I don't think, I think it needs to be more sound. Yeah, he's I, happy to freewheel it. Yeah, he needs to plan the out a little more neatly. Might be able to play the double on the yellow on the on the red on the ball line, screw off left side rail and back in behind the other reds for a snooker. Tough shot, but I I'm don't see sure, a lot not, else. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Oh 
Oh, wow, it was on. Oh, that, well, there you go. That's a fair shot. He still landed He's nowhere, been a, though. been a bit unlucky. Your shot's probably the shot now, Butters. Yeah, double off the back cushion. And you screw off it, and you could get safe, too. Yeah, you could get up towards that top right corner. So Tony Massey mopping up here against Sash. He's a handy snooker player, Tone, and uh, so he pots very well. So just nicking off this. Wow. Oh, that's stiff too. That was going straight in. I mean, he still had more work to do, but... I didn't like his neck shot. No mistake there from Josh. First blood to Josh Gorski. And that's what Pikey will need to cut out ASAP, is, is uh, not making mistakes when mopping up or setting the frame up. Yeah, long way to go. So stun shot here from Tone. Oh, he's playing drag. He's become a real pool player. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's, few, actually, he's actually overplayed it too. A few upsets today, mate. Uh, Richard Neville took out um, a local, took out Justin Campbell from 7-1 down. Yeah, that was big. That's an enormous win. Uh, young Matty Kerwood, as you would have seen on the stream table. The unseated Matthew Under, Kerwood. Unseated Matty Kerwood, world champion. Uh, beat Gav Lomax. That's a, that's a huge victory. And has already gone on to say that tomorrow he's got an easier draw and will wipe the floor with Ben Judge. He didn't really say that, but I just thought I'd put it in there. Yeah, no, I'm, I heard that too. Good shot. Now what, do you, what do you do with this red up the top? Well, there, he, he slams this in now, uh, past the black and screws into it. Oh, yeah. What do I do with it? Yeah, probably the same thing. Tony's missed the out. Yeah, he rattled the one. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, there is... Uh, the, the change to the schedule has been the uh, winners of these matches have to come back in the morning. Nine o'clock match. Uh, that's uh, that was a big twitch there from Sash. That's what happens when a snooker player tries a double. And Tony Massey should get these. Probably take the red over the hole first, which he will. And Pikey just uh, should be doing a lot more of that. I would think. It's probably the shot from Josh. Didn't really, didn't really cover it enough. But, uh, Tony Massey's left himself long over here. Screwed back to the car park, but he's landed pretty straight on it. This is this is where it's handy having a snooker background. This pot shouldn't bother him. And he's taken it well. Yeah, good shot from Tony there. He screwed back to the car park, the one before it. Oh. Oh, That's I a terrible shot from Pikey. I think, I think Tony will be a little clean for Sasha um, at the end game when it's a matter of mopping balls up. Yeah, well, and, and Sasha's going to get, you know, three quarters of the way through a few outs and miss him, and that's where Tony will be uh, very strong. Doesn't miss a lot of pots. No, he doesn't miss too many once once he's amongst them. Yeah, that's um, that's a bit of an error there from Pikey. He was taking him on because I think he felt like he could play a shot to nothing up the rail up the top and and land behind the other yellow, play it across the table. 
Don't know about this shot. He's found the gap. He's actually played it well. Yeah, he has. And yeah, Pike is in all sorts now. Yeah, he's going to try and smother this pocket now. Yep. But don't be surprised. Ooh, can he pot it? I think he can. Just got, I'd be potting this yellow straight away and just making sure I didn't leave the foul snooker. Yeah, you'd probably back Pikey in with um, two. It's not too bad where they are because he can he can extract those and as long as he stays up that end, he knows he'll be on the one in the middle. Oh, that's an error. and That's that's, that's, that's horrible. That's a non-pool player's error. Yeah. That's what that is. They're not used to potting balls like that. Yeah, not often someone leaves a red over the hole for you like that, mate. No. So Pike, you just chip this down and then extract. What is he doing here? A bit more tempted to play the double on the... Uh... It's hard to get them both out doing that, though. Actually, from that angle, it's hard to get them both out anyway. But... Is he better off potting that ball and, and getting him out from the other direction? Either that or, or just screw back to centre table and play the red, the yellow down onto the red and pot it. He's playing the face cut and he's a good chance of double kissing here. Yeah, he needs a lot of right inside and he's, he's managed to pull that off. Yeah, that's not bad. Josh can't really afford to uh, pot this yellow now. Josh doubled the black up there. Would he, I, would he see that shot, though? First thing I saw, and it's very temporary. <laughs> yeah, it's whether or not he sees it. He's going to get the red out there and hope Pikey misses the out. Yeah, it's not the worst option. Eh, well, got a bit of a result. A bit tricky. Got a bit of a result there. Well, he's got to play this one in the corner, Jamie. Then get on the, uh, then get on that other yellow in the middle, which he's going to have a pretty good line to do. Screw back, just pass the nameplate now, and uh, all good. Sasha's absolutely pumping balls in that he could just roll and get the same position. Yeah, I actually but... think Sasha's got a bit of a mental problem because he actually said to me, to... <laughs> <laughs> well, "Let me finish." He's from Geelong. He actually says to me, he goes, today, he goes, if I had your brain in this game, I reckon I'd be unstoppable. <laughs> I said, you don't have much expectations of brain power. I've just, uh, I've just spent a little bit of time with uh, Benny Hood, and there's definitely something in the water up there. <laughs> Love the bloke, but yeah. Oh, we, uh, when I was playing Rick Coleman, um, oh, well. Rick had a... Rick was, you know, he's potting out and he's saying, oh, I need to do this, he needs to do that. And I said, no, he doesn't. He just needs to do this. That's how you play the shot. And he's, he sort of got it wrong three times in a row. <laughs> and that's what he's telling me. He's going, oh, I, I don't know how you see this. You know, I don't get it. I said, he got 20 something years of pull. That's how you see it. He got it wrong three times in a row, so you know how he feels. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly right. <laughs> Jesus. Car park. He's decided to play the, the self snooker. Yeah. Played a shot to nothing. <laughs> uh, succeeded. We'll say a shout out to my wife who I've uh, neglected today. Hello, Dale. Hope you're enjoying the uh, commentary and I'm sure you're watching it all very intently. Such a big fan of pool you are. Is that sarcasm there? Never. Me, sarcastic? Come on, Jamie. What's Josh do with that red now? Well, not much anymore because he's trying to get them to nudge on the yellow. So apparently Needs we've got to get the music turned down. You think? They just pumped it up. Can you ask uh, him to turn the music down? Just to... Yeah. And that's why we're here, so we can hear ourselves. He might have the angle to get into these. Oh, look at this cannon. Oh, almost a sick result. Yep. Now he's got a long double it and uh, pretty much just lost the frame with that shot. <laughs> I'm not sure he had a lot more though. I reckon we both would have probably played that shot. Yeah. Had to try and make something happen. Okay. 
Here come the public. <laughs> Someone want to frame that they were very, very happy with. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so here comes another large shot. Wow. Oh, you know what? I actually think he's been robbed there. Never, never looked like it. You don't reckon it ever looked like going in? That, was, <laughs> that looked perfect. Now, now that was sarcasm. That was yeah. sick. Yes, Poggy does have a shot to nothing now. Sasha's still in good shape over here. That's the softest ball he's hit in three years. And he's still no good. Pikey, what is going he's on? No good here. Jeez, he's even left Josh an edge on this red. Poor shot, though. Yeah, this is the sort of thing Josh will knock in. Even if he covers the black here, it still makes it a lot harder for Pikey. Yeah, exactly right. Especially with where he left that yellow. Sasha's got to come off the left side cushion here and block his pocket a bit more neatly now. Oh, he's back to order by mistake. So, Pikey... Oh, this is not a shot to nothing because I think that red will slip inside the yellow. Oh, so. yeah. Well, he's aiming too far down the rail. To Way too far. Knee. Not terrible, but that other yellow is really tricky. Yeah, it's not fun at all. Yeah, yeah look good at face value. Yeah, but I'm taking no a double all day long here. You take the double. I yeah. probably, probably take the red off the side, off the jaw, off the yellow. Because I'm too scared to play the double. <laughs> he plays the double as well. Very nicely Mate, done. You know you're not going well when a snooker player is knocking in doubles against you. <laughs> uh, Pikey needs to uh, focus and uh, get into this. He's played uh, a few very questionable shots. And as we said, he's, he'd obviously had a bit of form uh, to go that far with uh, Kale in a match. So. Yeah, Kale doesn't make that many mistakes to allow nine frames to happen very often. Well, what a result from Sash. No, it's not. That's a disaster. Clever shot. Bit, uh, bit unlucky. Yeah, it's turned out bad. Well, yeah, off the cushion, smash it, can it into the black, black straight in the middle. I'll be going. Oh no, this is okay. That's that was oh. a great break and great control of the cue ball there, Pikey. Sasha's decided to foul instead of getting out of it. And Tony, being a snooker player, is going. Why did he do that? I don't get it. Does, does no, Tony he's... know the, the little runoff shot? Yeah, uh, he's uh, he uses he, two. He's improving quickly. I did actually play a season of Tony Kawhi a long time ago, and yeah, he did have a lot to learn back then. Yeah, no, he's he's, but he's interested in learning now. That's that's actually half the battle. Yeah, that's a smart shot. It's a smart shot if you're not going to go out this shot. <laughs> yeah, wow. <well, laughs> he's actually got a good angle here, I think, to just come into this red on the side cushion. He's got a result there, Pikey. Probably takes the one in the middle now. There we go. That dealt with the one he just extracted, uh, covered up the yellow with before. Yeah. He just wanted a bigger target. It's good thinking. Yeah. Now he now he rolls them in. Okay. I probably wouldn't. He might have a funny angle on it. Oh, he's much better now anyway. Yeah, that's. that's a little uh, far, maybe a little high. Actually, I'm just looking at the table. It is too far. Yeah, you can stun it. You can screw screw off the rail. You'd play this off the yellow, but it's so all day. <laughs> I know you would. Well, I'm le I'm less chance of missing that, Jamie. If I played off the yellow, I'd miss it by so much. <laughs> oh, you screwed off it. That's perfect. Oh, geez, that kept going, didn't it? These tables are quick. Yeah, I'm dying to play on one of them. I went from camera table to the far corner where 
people didn't come and watch because they thought I was practicing. That's how far away I was playing. <laughs> Oh, he's just got to be a bit careful here, Pikey. Needs a good check-up shot. This is what I like about Tony's game. No dramas leaving himself long ones. Yeah, well, he backs his action. Yeah. Because I know I would have screwed off that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> good shot. That's a very good shot, yeah. Yeah, he couldn't hit that much better. No, nah, he's played that very well. That's his first um, first game on the cam uh, in front of the cameras too. So, fine shot, Pikey. I actually wonder how often people get caught into the camera. You know where it let they get put off by it. I think it can happen early on in matches if you're not used to it, but. Once you settle, you don't even know it's on. You just don't even know anything's going on oh, except you what's do, in the middle. You do if you haven't done it many times. But if you what? But if you haven't done it many times, but you've got to remember, we're so used to it because Dan films everything. Mm. And we're in Victoria. We're in Melbourne. So we're 100% used to it. Like, I, don't, I don't even notice it anymore. No, I mean, no, I love it. It's great. I mean, but I played Jace Foster this morning and... He was really unsettled in front of it. <laughs> oh, it's good to play someone if they don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> actually, very funny. When I was I was six two down, and Rachel King actually came over and said, "Oh, do you mind if I live stream you?" I said, yeah, "I don't care." I said, "It can't get any worse than what it is right now." And then I actually hardly <laughs> lost a frame once the stream went on, so yeah. it must have been crowd pleasing. And then uh, Rachel says to me, uh, "That'll be two hundred dollars, thanks." I said, "I was thinking two fifty. <laughs> That's a bargain. And you know what? I'm going to bring this up. It's been going around the room. We might as well just let the whole world know. Yeah, sure. Go for it. So what happened earlier I'm, I'm today? What happened earlier today? And there are two ways. Different people are going to take this different ways. Yeah. So what happened was Shane Fell was playing Sarwin. Sarwan Naka, and it was 10 all, and Shane Fells broke, put a couple of balls or whatever, and then his white ball's going in off, and as it's going in off, he's just put his hand there and grabbed it as it's dropped Caught into it. the pocket, and thrown onto the table, and Sarwan says, that's loss of frame, thanks, I'm, I'm taking the frame. Now, that is the rule. You are actually allowed to take the frame, but I'm going to ask the question... Is that good sportsmanship and good etiquette? Your opinion? I would never in a million years take that frame. Nor would I think it was terrible. This is how I look at rules. Okay, I know rules exist for a reason, and that rule's obviously been brought in because of probably pub disputes more than anything. Um, but if if something happens and it, it doesn't actually have an impact on the outcome of the frame, then I don't I won't I won't take the frame, you know what I mean? So just because Shane's put his hand in the pocket and stopped the white ball from hitting the bottom of the net and he's grabbed it and given it to him, that hasn't actually altered anything going on in the frame. No. Except for someone getting the white ball about two seconds faster. So in actual, he's actually done him a service. I'm going with bad form. <laughs> Especially at that stage. The people that will call the frame on there are the rule sticklers, the ones that... No, that's the rule. You must play by the rules. And there are people out there like that. And you know what? I respect that, and you are within your rights to do it. But I look at it from a sportsman, sportsmanship point of factor, a camaraderie point of factor. It's, it's in my opinion, poor form. So, Sarwan, I think maybe if that ever happens to you again, you should reassess. Rant over. So, I think we agree, not good form at all. I think uh, he plays Michael now. Scary. Well, Scary knows about it, so I'm sure Scary every will be chance, motivated. Every chance he'll uh, mention that. Well, I'm pretty sure Scary's already got less than five worked out in his coaching. <laughs> pretty sure it's going to have something to do with t taking frames, how to, how to win pool really easily at 10-all. I, I, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've taken a lot uh, from Michael's videos. I think he's 100% got Scotty Matthews covered. Good 
Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Scary gets that video out tonight, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> While it's fresh. Yeah. Scary, you're probably listening right now. He's at you, home working it out. He's like, he forgot about it. Now he's like, oh, yeah, that's you right. You shouldn't be I'll watching the that. stream. Scary, you should be recording on your phone right now. The lesson <laughs> five. Good effort, that's but straight. very unfortunate. Angle on this uh, red does look nice. Play to safety and great well, shot. He's got away with that a little, but you know what? That's that was the plan was to get behind the yeah, red. Yeah, that's right. That was a good shot. Can Pikey get to get past the centre pocket to the cushion? Or I reckon does he, he have to go sideways. I reckon he can. Maybe you can't, because not even looking at it. I don't like playing it this way. It's hard to really get an advantage out yeah, of it. Can't, hard to keep the yellow in play, yeah. And that was always a, a, a high chance. Yeah. There's still a little bit of work to do here. No, there's not, Butters. What's that? No, there's not. No, there's not? Okay. All he's going to do is flick no off. No work to do here. The, the right side red. Well, he's already, of course he's not going to do what I said, but. Yeah, but you're forgetting something, Jamie. He's not, not a used player. to playing shots like that. Yeah, true. So I was right, bugger off. Well, I would have been a lot better than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's just so he, taking he his to go up, top He ball. takes his up the top now. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All day long. I look at this and shit myself, but he's just look he's he's eating this for lunch. Yeah, you're looking at this going way yeah, that's a long way away. I'm thinking I'm <laughs> thinking, oh it's okay the yellow's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see that pocket. <laughs> Josh is going, this is you know, to black. Yeah, pretty much. And then misses it. Now, what does Pikey do? Double the yellow to the bottom inside, left corner. Inside the black? Yep. Worst result that can happen here is he leaves a big pocket for the red. Oh, well, worst result's probably doubling it straight onto the black and partner, but yeah. Oh, yeah. The most likely ones are what you said. Yeah, it's all right. That's something. Yeah, if he had got that white ball tied on the side rail, he would have loved that. Just to stop... Still Still got to play a pretty good shot here. Yeah, got to jack up and avoid the enough in the middle. Yeah, it's a good shot from uh, Tony. Here it comes, I reckon. He could just chip this bottom red. Yeah, he could, yeah, absolutely. But he's, like you said, mate, he's a snooker player. He's not going to do that. And he's, he's just going to pick the, the gap yellow. instead, is he? No. Two cushions, Jamie. Top and side. Oh no, he's, he can see the gap. A single That's direct. Fortunate. Oh, he's hit it soft. Oh, he's played it. Look at this. Oh, he hasn't reached that distance. See what? That must have hit some finger marks. That slowed down pretty quick. Pikey says, I'll have a foul snooker ball in hand, thanks. Tony's just. This is a tricky out. Yeah. This is a tricky out, just because just of the check black. This up. Man, I'd swing it off too. Pikey, what's he done there? That's there. I'd have swung it off too, but obviously yeah, you want to get around the table. Actually, I think this goes between the reds. Yeah. There you go. This is this is a shot that Jake loves playing. Tony just plays just above middle. Punch, punch this in with right hand side off a side and back cushion, fat behind the black. Yeah. That's, just above middle. I actually don't play this shot well at all. Uh, he's hit that well. Wow, that is a super a shot. I don't know shot. if he's played exactly that, but if he uh, has, that's we'll nuts. Got to give him benefit of the doubt there. Yeah, that's a Good super recovery shot. from Pikey there. Very nice out, Tony. A couple of great shots uh, Tony's played. I've taught him everything he knows. So. While he's 3 0 up. That's why he's been out of position half the While time. he's 3 0 up. Yeah. yeah. If he goes 8 3 down, yeah, how much have you taught him? He has not <laughs> listened to one thing I've told him there. Yeah. <laughs> 
So uh, who's Kenny playing there? We're about to find out up the top of the screen, mate. Kenny Nickel one down against Dylan. Uh, oh, what happened there? Right, okay. Yeah, no, good bloke, Dan. Thanks, mate. It, Dan's, Dan's just... What's he doing, mate? I'll tell you what, whoever it is, he's very tall redhead. <laughs> Robbo's brother. Robbo's brother? Yeah. yeah that'd be Neil. No, this is another brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tony playing pretty well here. Yeah, he's, he's doing what's required to win frames at the moment. Pikey should get these. Just uh, he want to get this plant right so he doesn't kill the first red he's hitting. Uh, he's done that well, controlled it well. That ball up the top corner. Uh, it's not as awesome as it looks. No, over it's, the it's, it's actually annoying to transition off. Yeah, yeah, I reckon you leave the red he's about to play. <laughs> I take the one down near the hole here, get up there on it, and then, then play this ball he's I, playing now off it. I agree with you. Well, this is okay. As long as, long as he screws back out to the bulk line, gives himself a shot of these two bottom left all, balls. All leaves it till last. He's running it. Wow. How's the bounce on this? This is, he's got away with it. He has got away with that. That was, that was a crazy option, but he's, he's looking perfect now. There's not, there's not even an angle he can land on this red to not be any good. He tried. He did try. <laughs> Only thing you can do wrong now is under hit it and get behind the black. Yeah, and he's going to use the rest as well because he's not the tallest bloke in the room. That's uh, very diplomatic of you, James. <laughs> to get Sash to play his shot. Sash is about six foot four. Yeah, Sash would need... Uh, does he need a rest at all in any shot? Probably not. I remember I was playing Kyle Crawford in a comp one day, and I... Oh, actually, he's... that's what I was saying, people. Ooh, that was okay. the only thing that could go wrong. He could have been almost up near the balk line. He almost still had a shot on it, so there's no reason to be that short. He could probably let this run now. He, might, pot him inside. he might almost have a sniff at it. I think he can pot it. No, he's had to, oh, he's he's had to put a bit of gear on it. Tony has not blocked the pocket with be, that yeah, yellow. You want to be a little bit careful here, Josh, that he doesn't... Because these ones you catch thin, you can the white can really fly across. No, he's just just made sure he didn't do that. A good opportunity for Sash to get on the board, but he's butchered that. Oh wow! How did he pick that gap? That's amazing. Tell you what, he I reckon that almost would have got it if he hit it harder. Would have had more side on it. That's just sick. Both, I don't think either of them realise what uh, can understand what happened there. <laughs> well, good chance for Josh to take a 3 1 lead here. Dylan, uh, it's Kenny Niggle, Dylan Vonderwall, two each. Vonderwall, that sounds like someone from bloody Harry Potter. <laughs> Peter Knight, 2 1 down against Steve Dort. Uh, Peter Knight had the big match, uh, he played Rusty, I think. Yeah, actually, I, I think Peter Knight won his first big guns match today. Oh, good on him. Yeah, I think that's his first one. Andy Ripley and uh, it, uh, I've, got to say, I've got to say Jedi, because yeah, it I'm just... looks like Jedi. Um, Andy's... Now, Aliens versus uh, Star Wars, that <laughs> match. Oh, Andy's who <laughs> I just played, so he played very well. He ran out of steam towards the end and uh, let me get away with it, but played good pull. And Stevie Halliday still kicking on against Greg Siegel. Or is it Seagal? Good shot there from nice, Sash. Nice pace. That's not a great shot from Josh. 
If uh, anyone's tomorrow, if they're, uh, what is it tomorrow? Sunday? Sad day, mate. Sad day. Jeez, I don't even know what day it is. Was it really Friday today? No, hang on. No, it's Sunday tomorrow. No, it is Sunday. Oh, yeah. If you're, uh, How well am I travelling? If your Sunday's busy, but you've got time to watch a, a match or a stream, 12 o'clock tomorrow, all the seeds run into each other. So that'll be a good starting point. We want to see some good pull. Yeah, there's some ripper matches on tomorrow. If, um, if Dan can stop doing, I don't know, whatever it is he's doing and get the draw up for us, we'll have a look. Uh, but can we get the winner's side draw up, please, mate? Actually, have you put the votes up for who you want for the men's 12 o'clock matches? We uh, Not yet. We've been, give, we've been giving Dan a bit of grief lately, but you, you people uh, really need to understand how much work and, and time and effort he puts into this. Yeah, good thank, one, thank you. So winners, uh, all right, so at the top of the draw, we've got Rusty uh, and Matt McInnes. What? Okay. Mac McGinnis has knocked off Kenny he's Nickel. He's knocked off Kenny Nickel 11 4, so pretty convincingly, too. Uh, Gus versus Baden Jackson, which will be a ripper match. Uh, Justin Sage and Jamo, Steve Jamison. That's another good match. He's in, been in great form lately, uh, Jamo. Yes. And Justin's pretty much always in good form. Uh, Scary and Sarwin, as we said earlier. Uh, the, uh, the great man Ben Noonan versus Scott Matthews, Mr. Shiny Shirt, yeah. Mr. Calcutta. I actually called Scotty to um, to beat Benny, but uh, the way I saw Scotty play today, I might retract that statement. Uh, Benny Foster and Richard Neville, because Ben uh, Richard's taken the place of Justin, the seed, so that a uh, great opportunity for him. Robbo versus Alex Pace, who's played very solid today. Uh, Tim Dixon, Dave Ewing. That'd be good. That's a contrast of styles right there. Absolutely, yeah. You got uh, the free flow and the and the control freak. Mick Hill, Brett Rogers. Oh, so that could be king, interesting. The king versus the king. Uh, Simon Singleton, Kale Barrett. That'll be a good match that's, as well. That's an interesting one. Uh, Kale, obviously, we all know. Uh, Simon, great player from New Zealand. Uh, he played, did really well last year. Knock, knock Michael out of the winners' side and. Uh, I actually really rate him very highly. So do I. I watched singular. him today. He was he, he was playing next to me, and uh, he lost the first couple. Then he just never missed a trick. Uh, would have had, had him real cheap in the player auction too, if someone that didn't even pay for him bid on him. <laughs> Jake McCartney, Chris Beagley. It's uh, that'll be a good match. Yeah, very I... good, very good player, Beags. Matty Kerr with Ben Judge. Matty Kerr would have taken out uh, Gavin Lomax today in a, yep. in a ripper match. Uh, further down, we have Joel Younger versus Jack Phillips. That's, well, yeah. I mean, Joel's an enormous favourite there, but Jack, very capable. Nathan names Mikey Cassiola. That's oh, an interesting be, that's match. That's got to go on the stream, that one. The word, uh, what I hear is Nathan's been putting in a fair bit of time and... And he's one of the most explosive players you'll ever see when he gets going. Dave Ewing told me he's playing massive. That's right. And Nathan sees the patterns in about four seconds, and he's just like lightning. Uh, James Delahoney and Jamie Stevens. That's probably the most one-sided match out of all the runs we've read out so far. That's harsh, mate. So yeah, well, I just figure you're going to smash him. That's all. All oh, right. <laughs> harsh on Jimmy, I mean. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's a ranger. It's not my fault. <laughs> and uh, myself and Ace down the bottom, so. I would like to see the Nathan Neems Mikey Catch Island Street, even so though we're not going to probably get to see it because we'll be playing ourselves. But Thank you, mate. Oh. So we've, we've said it before, if you're in the area or you're within an hour or two's drive, get down here. Tomorrow's a fantastic opportunity to see some of the best players in the world, especially well, definitely in the country and some of the best in the world playing, and they'll all be playing each other. It will be super pool. It will. And it just gets bigger and bigger. Oh. Yeah, Rusty and uh, Lindell and their crew have um, done an exceptional job. It's been the best build-up to any event I can remember. Absolutely. Super stuff. If you actually were here right now, like we have got no camera on the room, but there's, it's just every table's being used. It's just people everywhere. Everyone can play. It's 
like an it's like an ant farm. <laughs> ant farm with no one working together. That's not the greatest He's shot. He's left it perfect for the double in the middle. <laughs> Screw into him. Wow. Freak. Well, that's just good queuing right there. That's great queuing, I've got to say. It's great queuing to lose the frame. No, still, still a bit of work here. Yeah, there is some work on this. Still looks very pokey, Pikey. Needs a little bounce there, Tone, and he got it. This right. has to go in this yellow. Has yeah, to I go think, in. I think he's all right, because if he leaves the white there, even if it doesn't go, he plays this one across and it opens up the other two. I just feel it had to go just to yeah, relax just, him. You know I what think, I mean? I think these come out really well. Handy if you handy if you potted it, but um, but now he's good. He's right, in good right, shape. Right, left, right. Yep. I was just sorry. I was just teaching someone how to walk. <laughs> Tony's going in off, so Sasha's got two here. Yeah, this is a gift as well. This this could uh, settle Sasha a bit because he's lost the wide a lot. I'll tell you what, he's all right here. Yeah, he's okay, but. Hart would oh, have been wow. straight for a second. Sash just needs to stay down over the ball. He's popping up a bit. Pretty hard to stay down when you're that tall. Yes. Well, so I've heard. It's like watching a draft play pool, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a really funny image in my head now. <laughs> so he gets away with them, Pikey. Needs to tighten up a little and just take a little bit more care on some of those shots. He's, he's getting... You know, he's mopping up, getting two-thirds of the way through it, just playing a silly or a loose one. See, Sash, he must have heard me. He stayed down on that and queued it well. Still would have uh, gone the other way myself, but uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, what's he do? Stun this and then try and extract. You really need to extract, though? No, he doesn't. But when you're 3-0 down, you want the easiest shot possible on the black, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that is true. I would, you're right, he's played the run through, though. I would have stunned. Well, he's backing himself. That needs to go. It's just okay. Yeah, he's all right here. Good break from Josh. But once again, he's got to stay down on the shot. Ripper, ripper break from Josh. And he and has. He, did. he actually looks really good on the queue, doesn't yeah. he? His whole action looks awesome. This needs to get a little bit more ability. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I've got the right to say that because I say it about myself all the time. Yeah, harsh but true, maybe. Dale Watson and Luke Jowett are neck and neck. Jowlett. Oh. Luke Jowlett. There's an L missing in his name. And Rory Jowlett's playing Paul Taylor. Trailing 2-1. Kenny Nichols uh, come good. Yeah, he's knocking off uh, Robbo's... Um, <laughs> Robbo's other brother. Robbo's uh, Harry Potter brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice pretty, little touch from Josh there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this uh, red at the top of the table goes to the bottom, uh, top right as well. Oh, he's dumped the white, Sash. Look at the break. Jesus. Have a look at that. Hello, yellows. Hello, yellows. Just take the one in the middle, in, the, in between the, the middle of the th three. I would actually take the bottom ball straight up and just stun centre table. And then it just all, like, linked perfectly I'd, I'd together. take the middle of the three in the, in the middle and run through. Isn't that amazing? Like, there's so many ways you can go with this. You've chosen the same way Tony's about to go here. I would always play the bottom ball first here and just stun centre table. What would you do here, Matty? Matty would have won already. Where do you, which ball do you take? So you play the bottom one as well? The top one, sorry. Yeah, same as me, OK. Yep, that's exactly what I'd do. That's a, but none of them are wrong. Yeah, it's just how right. people think. Oh, I mean, it's not often you've got that many options. 
No, well, it is. You can sort of go five he, different ways. Well, he literally could have played any of the five balls he had left. I do like that he's eliminating this ball in the middle of the table now. But you don't need a transition. No, you don't. That's exactly right. And if you try and leave it to last transition, you fall short or go too far, you can get yourself in trouble. Yeah, well, he's probably just on a... He's just coming away from him a bit, so... Jeez, this, this is potentially could come undone here. Is he straight on this? No, I think he's got a bit of angle, mate. Yeah, you're right, he's stunning up. Yeah, now he's fine. You just screw back to the cushion. Where where, he, where the white is right now is yeah. fine. So Josh, Josh's uh, car park, that one. Oh, how's he found the snooker there? That's, That's rough. That's phenomenal. That's a pretty average shot. Like, he, he didn't have to be anywhere near that ball. Yeah, he, look, he didn't have it controlled. Um, he just threw the white ball around the table, but... Still, unfortunate you land like that. You can't tuck up here. What's the point of that? That's a snooker player shot. Uh, he's standing there. He's going, I don't know what to do here, but I saw a pool player do this the other day. <laughs> 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 Must be something to it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's done it, because he thought Pikey would chop up the first ball. Yeah, I think Pikey was just... That was one of those shots where you just want to get Q out of the way of the ball. The ball that you're queuing next to. Yeah. Yeah, he still gets him. I, I hate that. Tucking the shirt on the table. Good shot. Great shot. Wanted to be as neat as he could have been on this ball, and he's done that. That's the only one he had to worry about. He's landed as fat as possible. Now deep screw off the back, off the top rail, centre table. Yeah, rattle it and leave him fat in the black. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> That's a pikey shot all day long, yeah. that one. Oh, I'm playing the same shot. I just wanted my percentage to go up. Donnie, Donnie wouldn't have played that shot. Donnie would have tried to play a shot, missed kid. Hey. He might have got the balk. <laughs> he wouldn't have got the balk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Don. <laughs> he would have got. He probably would have got just in line with the black. <laughs> <laughs> if if he was timing the ball well, if he got his screw back cue out. Yeah. Yeah, Pike. He's he, he's left that absolutely horrible, really. Yeah, it's not ideal. Oh, geez, I don't think yeah. I'd still play the ball up the Tell other me he's end. not taking the one over the hole. Yeah, he is. Oh, wow. Well, that's just... Oh, what is he thinking? You just... You take the one up the top anyway. You can still get out to balk. Yeah, absolutely. You can't get out, you get on the brown spot, and then you just play the plant. Yep. That's crazy. That's, that's had a bit of a look on its way through, but found the way in. Yeah, yeah that's uh, Pikey. He'll need to tighten up a bit on uh, start thinking a bit more clearly. Because that was just, it wasn't the fact that he missed. It was just. Yeah, it was a choice of shot, yep, yeah. exactly. What's Tony up to here? He's, uh, well, he's got the rest out, which shouldn't be a drama at all for him. Not a snooker player. What's he What's he played for I'd, there? I'd fist pump if I got that shot in with the rest. <coughs> I've already fist pumped if I've got that shot in. <laughs> I actually played a rest of snooker Thursday night, and I potted. It was a long pot with the rest. And I was that shocked. I've actually gone, holy shit. And I, because I actually potted, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, I, I honestly have so much appreciation for oh, snooker players, like obviously elite ones, where they just constantly hey, never miss with the rest. I'll tell you now, <clears throat> Josh's old man. <clears throat> Josh's old man, Stan, obviously a legend of snooker in Australia. He's an absolute freak show with the rest. He could screw back to the car park all day long using it. He's unbelievable. The best I've ever seen is Jimmy White Love. with the rest. Yeah, I'm telling you, this stand is unbelievable. 
Is Stan he's retired from playing all Q sports, is no, he? Doesn't he still play anymore? Hit, still plays snooker? Yeah. I haven't actually seen much of him play, but I, I haven't seen a lot of those old guard snooker players play, really. It was sort of obviously not a, a realm I got into. No, he's, he's awesome, mate. Good That's shot a from Pikey. plant, yeah. Big shot for Sash here. Not a bit of movement on his body there either. Yeah, tricky shot. He's, well, he's, he's done everything right as far as his body's concerned. He's kept still. Just not quite judged the line. So, Pikey's got it. These are tricky. Yeah, they are. The transition to the, the dead one that his arm's over the top of now. Yeah, you've got to play this bottom one now. And then he's on that. Josh is just, uh, so it was Sash. No, it's Tony. It's Tony. I think I think he can get this yellow past the other one to the corner. How's Pikey looking? All right. Yeah, he would have liked to come back a bit further to to his left. Okay, obviously that didn't pass on the left screen because he's played the safety. Containing shot. I think Pikey's okay here. He, he runs through to the, sort of the centre pocket, plays the, or either that or he stuns the white and plays the far yellow. Swings the wide around, but I prefer to run through and play the screw off a side rail on there. Yeah, I'd prefer to be a foot to the left. <laughs> oh, a lot of movement there, wasn't there? A lot He's, of movement. He hasn't settled at all, and he needs to do it in a hurry or it's going to get away from him. Because Josh is just uh, sea ball, pot ball. Yeah, and, he, and, and as he gets more confidence, he'll start snowballing too. Yeah. Nice pot. Nice queuing. Yeah, he does look good when he stays down. I do he? think there's. I think he's got a lot of potential. This bloke, I really do. He's got his, his fundamentals with his action look really good. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, mate, have that, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, same with a lot of people though. He's just he can lose the head occasionally. I think he just needs to learn the game, to be honest. Like he's, um, he still he still doesn't know patterns very well. I reckon. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, he's he's found one here. Yeah, that that's was a, a great shot. shot. Like he's just working out how to get back under this yellow. Jeez, he's run through too far there, Sash. And Pikey's found the car park. Landed absolutely dead. Yeah, he's in all sorts in this frame now. Off the cushion, play yellow in the middle, mate. That's all he's got. Oh, look at this. That's a result. Yeah, right, forcing him to take the ball over the hole. I reckon this is almost plain ball for Sashi. Off the yellow? Yeah. You reckon it plants? Nah. Can he cut? Nah, he can cut it. Doesn't, doesn't plant him. Oh, you don't reckon the yellow goes to the bottom left? If he nah. plays it off it? You reckon it's nah, hit the bottom jaw? Won't right, go bottom in off row. it though. Nah, no, nah, you just... Nah, all good. Well, I'll tell you what, if that shot is on Butters, and he, the black flies in, so he doesn't have to do anything with the white except just stun it dead. Yeah, it's going to come close enough to straight up the table, unless he screws off it, and then it's going to get into him. I actually thought he was playing it off the yellow. Yeah, no, nah, wouldn't go. Oh, it wouldn't go, okay. No. That's what I thought the shot was that you no. called. Jesus. Josh taking on doubles for fun. What's going on here? It was a good idea, it just didn't work.
Who is that guy supporting, mate? Oh, no, it was actually Rory, Rory Jowlett going off his chops. He must have won a frame or something. Rory Jowlett's going off his chops over there. I have no idea. He must have won a frame. He's high-fiving his mate, so... Yeah. Is that the match over? No, I don't think so. It was only 2-1 a minute ago. Right, so they're high-fiving after every frame? <laughs> That's not going to annoy his opponent at all? Oh, I felt like doing that earlier in the day, because <laughs> I was only winning one. Mac is 5-1 uh, up over uh, Andrew Gruff, Groof. Not sure on the pronunciation. Who was, it? Who was five one up? Macca. Macca. Josh Boyle two one up on uh, Rod Arthur. Looks like uh, Alien versus Star Wars. Aliens winning. <laughs> That's perfect from Tony. Shot. You're talking about the left table, I'm guessing. Yes, I was. <laughs> Played that very nicely. Pikey's missed the yellow up the top. Still uh, yeah, still in a bit of trouble here, Josh. So, black here for Tony to go 5-1 up. And straight in the middle of the pocket. Yeah, this, I think the sash is just... Um, just doesn't see the patterns yet. Not not the not the clean cut ones. Yeah. Tries to do too much, I think. He's actually the perfect um, he's the perfect coaching student. Yep. He really is. He's got great action and everything. You just need to teach him how to how to uh, play the game a little wiser, a little neater. I think you're the man for the job, Jamie. You reckon? I'll tell you what, if he's left him. Has he left him up? No, he's got no shot. He just glance off the inside of this, try and hide over behind this red. That's what he's done. Oh, a bit like a bit of, Actually, well, he might have got, a, got result. a result. Yeah, he'll take that all day. And Sasha's getting a bit frustrated and he's sent the wide ball to Kui Rupp. Yeah, it's almost uh, taken out Brett Rogers. So two visits for Tony, and I'm guessing he's taking yellows. You'd be a fool not to. Does this go inside the... No, he's playing the plan, I think. Oh, really? He's playing the double. Wow, what was wrong with playing it to the top right corner? Just out of interest. I oh, didn't go. Uh, top right, yeah. I, don't, I just don't get that. Why, why do you not play that? Give yourself... It's the best... It's the easiest pot on the table, like, as of the options that he had. Yeah, I'm probably taking the plant. <laughs> And yeah, he's he's not going to miss these. That, that's that's a small that's a low range shot for him. Yeah. Now he's now he feels congested. He's that close to this black. <laughs> <laughs> Five two, Josh Gorski. So Pikey needs to change some things very quickly, or this will be gone. Yeah, he does. He needs to, he needs to stop missing the outs. That's what he needs to do. He's giving way too many opportunities away. Tony's no chance of queuing over the top of that. Do you know what? Do you know what I'd do if I was Pikey now? And I've seen him do it before. I don't reckon he's got a. I don't think he knows how to switch gears. But I have seen him just stop caring, and yeah. then he just starts freewheeling, and he stops missing as much. I think he needs to go into that mode right now. Well, he certainly needs to do something. Yeah, the Chiefs go in the end. <laughs> A bit of work to do here still, Tony. He's still got two shots, eh?
Just I don't know who follows the world snooker at the moment. Selby's down 5-2 to Joe Perry. Oh, yeah. Marco Fu's down 4-2 to Liu Huation or whatever his bloody name is. Well, Tony Massey's just missed an easy pot and jagged it. <coughs> Yep, I taught Josh how to cover holes. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest cover of all time. So he's, I think he's still got two, Tony, but he's in a bit of strife here. Do you like the? Do you like to cut into the red near the middle, take the white ball around off two or three rails, and play for the other yellow in the top right corner? Oh yeah, I love it. If you can hit it, but he couldn't. Oh, he couldn't hit it. Okay, fair enough. Well, oh, is it, that's that's a bit unlucky. If six inches short, he's got a shot on that. He does have the dead weight rolling up the top. It's a tough shot, but yeah. we'll be given automatic position. Wouldn't surprise me if he got it. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the music on, but the, thug, the original Thug, thug Life it. songs come on. Dax will be all over this. Haven't heard anything from Dax yet. He must be, uh, mustn't be drunk yet. <laughs> only, only lips off when drunk. And unless Jimmy Noonan's around. <coughs> Are you talking about... Oh, so that's what I'm talking about. You, you can't be missing them. No. Big, so, shot, big shot for Tony. If you've got a really good action, or what, a, what looks like a good action, and you're missing balls like that, that has to be your sighting. If you're queuing the ball well and you're still not potting the ball, it must be your sighting. Well, you're aiming at the wrong yeah, spot. exactly. So he's, must, maybe he's not sighting correctly. This seems to be queued well. Could have done a bit more with that. Oh, he's actually overplayed it. Need to get the jaw. Oh, he's got a result. Yeah. Up and down now. That's a bit rough for Pikey there. He's hit that in really easy. <laughs> he's in trouble again. Oh, big cut down the rail. What's he going to do with this other red though? He's up the top left. Yeah, he's hit that bad too. Josh can afford to play this ball in the bulk line and go into the... Wow. Well, he got on it, kind of. Yeah, he kind of kind of clubbed that, didn't he, instead of cued it? Yeah. But once again, a really, really good chance for Sash. I mean, these balls... This is like if you're like just having a hit and you want to give yourself an easy pot out where you just want to get your arm going. This is sort of how you put the balls. None of them are on the cushion. None of them are touching each other. They just spread around the table. Yep. But at the same time, you want to try and have a pattern. So you're not just throwing the cue willy-nilly. Oh, absolutely. It, they all link nicely. You just need to make sure you know the link. Important that he runs through this a little bit, I think. So now he's left himself off angle. 6-2 to Josh in a minute. He shouldn't have any dramas here. See, if he actually runs past the bulk oh, line wow. there, he's not off angle. See that? Yeah, I did. Jumped out of the pocket. I've not seen that happen on one of our tables ever. I've seen in the middle, not the corner. Yeah, in the in the middle. Ball jumps out of the middle, bad luck. But out of the corner, that's unbelievable. Tell you what, that could be, that could be a big factor in this match, the way it's going. Oh, Sash. He, now he come up out of that. Yeah, he did queue across the line there. I saw that too. Good shot, Pikey. I'll tell you what, if Pikey wins this and goes to 5-3 instead of 6-2, pretty big difference. Yeah, he'd be feeling in the match still for sure. Josh would be absolutely filthy. Tony's just... He's actually having his way, isn't he? Because he's just getting that many opportunities back to the table. Yeah. So, 6-1 for Tony. Yeah, played it well. 
Look at the big smile on his face. I bet you that smile wouldn't be there if he was 6-1 <laughs> down. He did, he did like the fist pump there too. Did you see that? Yeah, he was just playing with the crowd. Oh, I reckon, the I reckon that could be a... I reckon that could be the beginning of the end. Well, that's one thing I haven't taught him yet. <laughs> don't fist pump? I haven't taught him. Don't do the early fist pump. Actually, here's one, here's one that people didn't pick up on. In the final, Woody was playing this shot. Woody was playing this shot out of a snooker. He's got out of snooker, and he's popped the ball off the rail. And as he's potted, he's done these ones. He's done these little, and little, so little, himself? little. No, he went out. Oh. But he's done this like adrenaline little fist pump to himself. Yep. So it was like a hidden fist pump, but I saw it. <laughs> I kept it quiet. <laughs> If I don't say it, it didn't happen. I reckon it's on the stream, though. I reckon the stream caught it. Tell you what, I reckon if, if Josh won that frame, I reckon his match was over. Oh. 5-3. Yeah, that's... um. Normally stuff like that happens in a match and it doesn't have much of an effect, but... But just six two in a race to eight as opposed to five three is an enormous difference. Yeah, race to eight feels short, doesn't it? And when Pikey's thrown the frame away too, so all and, of a sudden he breaks and pots out. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what happens. You you let someone off the hook badly. Yeah, but I and mean, then, he didn't. Yeah, well, that's true. He got a bad bad result with the pocket. That's perfect. Take the one down the corner here. Yeah, just stun it and just. Have your little angle in the middle, and then you can just transition to the two middle balls. Stun back an inch or two. Oh, yeah, good angle, but that's it. perfect. He's actually, he's actually fallen a little off angle with all the balls, so he just needs to make sure he, whatever shot he chooses here, he gets back in perfect position for the easy transition to the black. I'll be thinking about taking that red up in the corner. That's what I was looking at too. I reckon he will next. Yeah, that's a good shot. Good recovery. Yeah. Can get his hand down. No awkward bridging. Just get through far enough. Even bork lines. Well, that looks like awkward bridging. <laughs> that's fine. All good. So, Pikey now Just looking a, to go 5-4. A little run and bump out. No, he's stunning it. Oh, that's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Josh got an easy out. Jams one in and pops straight back out, which I still don't understand how it happened. To go mm. six two up, all of a sudden. His five four hasn't done much more. Hasn't done anything wrong since. Yeah. The cruelty of eight ball. Terrible game. I love it. Sash got two shots here. Has he? I just saw him punch a ball in the middle, but he missed the yellow to clear the pocket. Yeah, no, he had to because he had ball in hand. So. Good break from Josh. Lost the wide a little bit, but got away with it. Yellows. Yeah, will commit straight away as well, probably. Oh, no, he probably played his ball in the top, bottom left. Once just past the balk line. Now, he's got a little bit of work to do here, Sash. Yeah, yeah, he definitely has now two. I, I don't know why he just bumped the one that was near the yellow, just half halfway down the table. And, and he's playing the last ball that would go inside that yellow. That's, wow. That, that is crazy. Crazy good. Yeah, I mean, it's a great shot, but that was crazy. That was crazy. Does I'm, not mind loading up with side to sash. If I'm, if I'm saying it's crazy, then you've got to have a good hard look at yourself. Well, percentage chance of popping the yellow, they were pretty high. Yeah, or going in off it or, yeah. Still further could be another twist to this pot out because it's still work to do. Oh, Just one, one smart shot here. Good pot from Josh. Oh God. That's that's not as bad as it looked. I don't I don't mind the shot. He's overplayed it a touch, but I didn't mind the shot. He's actually landed nothing on nothing. No, he's on this down. Oh, he only had one shot. 
Well, there you go. Because Tony's coming to the table. Oh, maybe he's gone in off the break. Now that I know he only had one shot, I don't Matty mind. Burwood, stop kicking me seat, mate. That's a good shot. Good speed. Just got to deal with these two yellows to the left of the black now. Pikey's uh, a bit confused at the moment, which is understandable. He doesn't have a great deal of good options. What's he on? Yellows. Yeah. I don't mind playing the one that's just to the left of the... Looks like he's having it. A... No, he's on reds. Yeah. It's not a bad shot. Yeah, it's not a, a good bit, shot either. It's still a bit tricky for Sash. Uh, for Sash. Josh. For Josh. Josh, Sash, they just look so similar. <laughs> and Tony's got in good shape up the other end. Where's he go here? Jamie, where's Tony go to get these balls? I'm, I'm not sure if he's got an angle to stun off side rail and go into him now. It was like a bit of a free shot. I think he did. He done now. Oh, well, he can off one. Well, he thinks this goes in the middle. Well, he's got a little bit of angle. Even if, it did, even if it did go in the middle, you should have played for the shot before. Oh, he's tell you what, pretty he's, well. He's played it beautiful. Well, that yellow, the bottom definitely doesn't go on the bottom right. Yeah, no, it's probably going to cannon. Will it cannon? Or if it just misses the black, he might end up snooking like that. Like that, yep. It's a good call, Butters. Yeah, it's, he's all right, though. That's exactly where I would land. And then go and, across and the table I'd, and put it. I'd be it. hoping to land there. <laughs> He wants to sub you in, mate, but it, <laughs> you should, realistically, you should pot this at least 8 out of 10. Yeah, no, mate, I've, I've taught him how to do this. He plays two nights a week in comp with me. He cannot miss this shot. There we oh, go. Thank God. <laughs> this is a harder shot than what he just played. Yeah. No, he's, he'll be right. pushed it. He has. They're Just always missable, those balls in the middle, yeah, when you're off the are. rail. We saw um, Mick Reardon miss a ball similar to that to win the match against Benny Foster last Slightly night. Slightly more uh, pressure than... Oh, absolutely. Sash, now, he's missed a couple like these when he's tried to force the right, right round the table. So th if he tries to force it, like, this is just plate with top and right hand side. Pikey, you're Don't do anything. Great shot. <laughs> yeah, this is the he's missed two or three of these where he, when he's tried to force it, he's just the action goes uh, awry. Oh, what's he screwing off this for? Do you screw off around the black? Wow, so not in a million years would I have played it that way. I reckon he's played that terrible. I, I would have deep screwed it, tried to get under the black if you're going to play it like <laughs> that. I would have just but played yeah, it with top and right hand side. That's actually a pretty small window, stunning off there and missing the centre pocket. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. I'm not happy with any of this at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but he got him. He needed it too. It was a much needed frame. 6 2. <laughs> yeah, how, how dull. Jeez, Pike, you see that drop. I did. He's thanking gravity right now. Needs to cue this well, Jamie. Do you think he can get right on the bottom rail? Well, he needs to. It's a good down. shot. It's a good shot. That's absolutely perfect. You just play this with a tiny bit of running. Help oh, just float the wide out off the cushion a that's, little bit. That's it, mate. Just let it fly it up a touch. <laughs> He's belted it instead. Why, did, why would you hit it that hard? He's, he's, he's clearly, he's watched me play against Temujin in the quarters. 
and said, Stevens, I'll show you how to pot this ball. I mean, I, I like his position. It was fantastic, but it's kind of irrelevant if you miss the pot. He's still in very good shape, though. Geez, I don't know about that. This is a good chance to play the yellow off the side rail in front of the red and stun the white ball across in line with the black so you can't get to the other red as well. I actually really fancy myself to play this shot well. These are the sort of shots I do play well. Yeah, but we're, unfortunately, Josh is playing it, not you. <laughs> What is he? What's he doing? I don't know. Oh, actually, I see what he's done. Yeah, it's not the worst, not the dumbest shot I've ever seen. How well do you have to cue this and not going off? Very. I don't reckon he can. No, I reckon you got to jack up on this. I agree with you. Matty Kerwood just went, nah. Matty, Matty just doesn't... Yeah, we can't all play side when the ball's there. Are you, Matty, are you, are you really able can. to play this with a bunch of right-hand side off the rail like that and you're not going off? Yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> I, think, I think it was that unfavourable, that shot, that Pike what, had denied it. Pike is a genius. He's left him the plant and a Chinese. That is, that is the smarter shot of all time. That is a good shot. I will agree. Or as Mick, Mick Delaney would say, I don't disagree. <laughs> Correct. Finny Barbudo's toweling up Benny Hood 4-0 at the get moment. Get off my seat, mate. <laughs> well, Josh has upset his pot there. How could he have not potted if he hit it? Yeah. It's a fair call, James. We just cut it in the middle. Yeah, really. It might go inside the red. Right. Yeah, I think it does. But it didn't. He's got some coverage, yeah. but it's no good. It's not that's, good coverage. That's great. Pikey like will just uh, run off, uh, run off this red. I'm actually. Oh, oh, so hard. I was about to say I'm leaving the edge on the yellow if it's me. Yeah. Actually, I think he has still. He has, yeah. Yeah, I like that shot. There's nothing more uncomfortable than having to play a shot where you know if you hit the yellow you can't not go in off. <laughs> so you've got to come up with something else. Uh, I'm playing this off the back rail anyway and just trying to stick the white there. Like that. That's a good shot. Would have loved it a little harder. Yeah, and left it on. Left it tricky though. Yeah, you can't really afford to play the long red as a roll-in. So you kind of have to take the one you're closest to or look for another safety. I think you just got to commit to this. Well, wherever he leaves it, Josh has got a tricky shot anyway. Jesus. Is he too far down for the double? Yeah, he is. Yeah. I just checked it. Oh, it's a good shot then. But it's not too far for the bottom left corner, Butters. <laughs> or cut it down the bottom right. Did he just look at the middle pocket? No, he looked at the corner. Thank God. I think. That scared me. I'll tell you if what. he's cutting this in the middle... I'll quit pull. Rusty's table's a snooker world. You can cut that along the rail and pot it in the middle. <laughs> they were ridiculous. Fair dinkum. That's not a good shot. Yeah, that, look, he's, he's trying to uh, to play the right shot. Yeah, he just, if he doesn't hit the black there, he looks he's looking looking yeah. pretty good. Pikey just needs to cue. Uh, actually, you take the one in the middle. Yeah, it looks plain ball, doesn't it? Yeah, you just run and... I What's see, he doing here? This and you get, you're going to get past that red. If it pulled up three inches shorter, it was fantastic. Well, I think he's going to be playing the black from about the bulk line. No, uh, no, he'd be over near the middle, but he'll be on the cush. Oh, wow, that was heaps straight. Yeah. Oh, he's fine here. Oh, Tony. Tony's just tried to cut one 91 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Only got 89. You haven't, taught, you haven't taught him that one yet? I can't give all of my secrets away, mate. 
So Pikey, oh, is, um, five is, all. This is amazing. He's, he's really been... Yeah. Experience. It's been a horrible match, to be fair. Um, and Josh is like, still thinking. He hasn't won a frame since that ball's jumped out on him. So, Who's Nick Perra? He's given Kane Weekly a bit of a touch-up at the moment, 5-2. Well, Kane Weekly had a rough one. He lost 11-10 uh, to Ben uh, Hood. Oh. Okay, so he's a New Zealand, one of the New Zealand guys has come over. Good shot from Tony here, just a little stun out for the black in the middle to go 7 2 and, uh, and be on the hill, Jamie. Yes, oh. What's the, uh, what's the nickel and dime? So Tony 7 2. Uh, apparently, I wasn't speaking into my mic properly. And Dan doesn't have the headphones on. He's not working again. Mate, what's going on Didn't here? Didn't pick it up. So thank, uh, thank you, wifey. No, it's all good now. Yeah. Apparently, I was about, some I was static about earlier. I didn't, I didn't know. I was about to send her a text, but I just said thank you anyway, so that'd be silly. Oh, Josh. Well, this is amazing. Pikey's got two shots, and I reckon he's about to go 6-5 in front. And Tony Massey is on the hill. Pikey's looking a bit more comfortable out there now, Jamie. Oh, he's dumped the white tone. Good chance, Sash. Still loose there, Pikey. Just, it's not bad, and he'll be okay, but just still overran it by a few inches. I've got to say this. I'm sorry, I've got to say it. Go for it, mate. I'm so sick of hearing reading about it. So already on Facebook, there are people sooking about people taking too long on shots. All right? Wow. I already went off my head about this on Facebook Look Live. At that. Look at that result. The 2020 clock is in play. If the players aren't using it and it's not being enforced, stop sooking about it. Yeah. Who's complaining? Everyone that can that's name watching. Name people. I don't want to do that. Oh, that's weak, Jamie. All right, I'll name some players. Thank you. Andy Urquhart, you should know better. Well, come down and time some games. And I'm not... Sh uh, Steve Denton's not happy either. <laughs> what is that shot? Well, grab your stopwatches and come down. It's uh, nice of all these people to jump on and say what's great about this tournament and this event. They're all happy just to, you know, show us what's wrong. Yeah, look, it's it's what what people need to understand when you're playing in these tournaments. It's it's really easy for the tournament director to say, call 20 seconds on each other. But when you're focused and you're looking at the table like trying to, I don't know what other people do, but I look for pitfalls when people are potting out. I think, okay, they could they could chop this up, or they could do this, or they might even play a shot that I learn from. Yeah. I'm not going to be sitting there trying to think, oh, is it 20 seconds? Is it 20 seconds? Oh, yeah, no. I paid 500 bucks to sit there in time in my yeah. matches. Are you kidding I, me? I'm not, I'm not focused on how long they're taking. I'm focused on winning my own match and formulating my own plan to win the frame next visit I get. So, so asking people to keep 20-second timers is unrealistic and ridiculous and when people aren't doing it and people are taking quite some time to play shots even if it's almost every shot don't suck about it i'm sorry it's part of our game none of us like it but it's the way it is and unless people are going to put their hand up and help out it's not going to change so thank you negative people keep it off facebook or talk to yourself what i would like to do is um i'd like to see as people are eliminated from the tournament that they actually umpire the, the next match that they're in a race playing. to 11 so four hours yeah well mate 
let's get realistic. If you want the tournament to speed up and people to stop complaining, oh. that's one way to do it. Well, I mean, I'd do it, but... Um, no, you wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't be happy about it, but I would do it. That's, I mean, as, as part of your tournament entry, if you, if you realise that that's part of your expectation when you are eliminated from the tournament, do you actually have to time 2020 on the next match on the table you just lost on? I think it's uh, not unrealistic. Yeah, I think it is unrealistic. I think what's unrealistic is asking people to time each other while they're playing a match. Yeah, that's, that's unrealistic. That's just crazy. Wow, that's, that's kept its line. Good shot. Josh, big chance here to retake his lead. Yeah, Pikey should have had these. Stay off the cush. It's not an Ooh, awesome that's line. Straight. That's a tough shot. That's actually a really good example of uh, a player just going, just get up the, get, just get up the table, instead of saying land just past the blue spot. Yeah. But keep it off the rail. Anything but on the rail. Where is you this can going? You can at least do something with it. Bottom left. Face cut. You find bottom left. Oh, no, he's gone. Wow, that's probably I'm, the last shot I'd have played. I'm, I'm going to assume he was going for the corner. Yeah, he was. Oh, he had two. Oh, he's got two shots. I still wouldn't have played that. <laughs> Jeez, he's got pretty fortunate there then. <laughs> Absolutely. No wonder he was so casual through I, the balls. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Pikey should feel hard done by there after what's transpired, really. No, I agree. So 6-5 to Josh. Pikey, have you ever noticed Pikey's got a really angry look on his face when he plays pool? Especially just, when he breaks. He's a very angry person. <laughs> Is it his, it's not his break now. I was going to say, we want to see the pikey angry face break. Yeah, he gets the, he gets the tight jaw and... Uh, he does. Uh, I remember when Steve Gray, I called him the angry Pac-Man years ago. <laughs> and they even did a slow motion replay of his face as he was breaking. <laughs> oh, oh, they didn't break. What's happened to them? Yeah, not a lot, not a lot going there. Right now, if you sash here and you're seven-two down, don't try and make it crazy out. Just lock the frame down, put the ball over the hole. Yeah. Try and get a couple and get the pressure back on him. That's a good shot. I don't even know if he's played that the way. No, he certainly wasn't. He was. Uh, he's trying to pop that all day yeah, long. He's, he's swinging his cue around and stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't think he realises what a good shot that is. I'm sure Tony would. Yeah, well, Tony's like, oh, I wish you pot that. Tony will pot it. No, nah. I wouldn't pot that from there either myself. Oh, oh at seven two up, I would. Yeah, it's true. That's that's a good shot. Yeah, he's blocked everything there. It's a good shot. Well, having said that, just wondering whether I'd play this yellow that's to the left here near the red, off the side rail and into the red. Yeah, he's got away with it. You really want to cushion first. Yeah, so. absolutely. Tony will sneak this right in there, though, and try and get it over the pocket. Good opportunity here for Pikey, too. Jeez, that's misjudged. Yeah, Pikey's covered up as well. It's a good shot. Josh is going to return the favour, I think, on the opposite pocket. Jeez, he doesn't block pockets very often, does he? That's how I would have blocked it. What's wrong with that? Well, I guess it <laughs> serves the purpose of the yellow, but I would have certainly got it closer. That's a good answer.
a little bit loose from Josh there. Needs to do something with these balls in the cluster here, Pikey. Just for uh, your intro info too, folks, these are the last two matches that we stream this evening. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. I think we start with the girls at 9, and then the uh, the top 32 winners side of the men's, which is where, like I said, all the seeds run into each other. That's at 12. That'll be fun. I just got the feeling this Pikey Gorski match is going to go to the last frame. Just to keep us here longer, Butters. That's generally how it works, mate. Have so done, have done Pikey, a number of. I don't think Pikey wanted that in. No. I've done a number of late nights with Pikey being involved in a match. <laughs> That's a good shot. Open him up nicely. Let's just hope Josh Boyle isn't one of these players that's on the stream table playing a oh, late night match. Oh, wow, there he's just called out the, uh, the state doubles champ. I have, mate. I still I still haven't forgotten that five-and-a-half-hour match on the Monday night. Well, just for the record, match. mate, you were involved in it. Yes, but I wasn't the slow. <laughs> well, that I just slow frames missing. because you just couldn't clean up. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I had to go into survival mode. <laughs> What a shot, but he's missed everything that he wanted to hit, I think. Yeah, and landed behind the black. So Josh is in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, Pikey did the right thing there, tucking up. Seeing if he can punch that yellow and uh, jam it out. I don't like his chances. Well, he's in a good spot for Actually, it. I'll tell you what, I reckon it, I reckon it, it will jam out. Wow. I'll tell you what. Well, uh, he's got something. That yellow's uh, definitely a problem now, unless that goes straight in between these two reds. No, nah, that's not happening. He's straight on it. Just do it. Smash it straight in between them. Why not? What do you got to lose? You're only 6-5 down in a race to eight. You swing around and get on that now. What's he doing here? Okay, Matty reckons it does go. Oh, that was on. What a shot. Oh, that's a great shot. That could not have turned out any better. Oh, that's a great result. But he still should have played the gap. Would love to pop both these in the one shot here. Never mind. Yeah, I reckon he'll be okay. We'll see. What are you saying, Jamie? Miss Q's coming. Nah, he should be fine, you're right. What's he? Little check. Looks, yeah, it looks. I, just, I hate checking these because it kills the pace of the white. Yeah, that's why you hit it a bit harder. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the shot. Played off the red for the cameras. Absolutely, 100 mile an hour too. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, Pikey just wants it in. Where's this white ball going? Yeah, it's not going to make not, it. Not far enough. Six all. Meanwhile, Sasha one, has... One more reach and your prediction's correct. Uh, Sasha... Oh, I think he's still got a long way to go if he's losing 8-2 to a man of Tony Massey's... Uh, eight ball current prowess because he is still learning the game like you said Butters yeah to be fair to Tony though he's mopped oh. up well he's done a done a pretty good job 
Reese uh, Reese Gooden and Michael Reed in five all. Wow. Actually, I'll tell you what, I was watching Reese play a bit earlier because he's one of the Ballarat lads. Um, That's a sol solid win for Tony. He's not holding saying. back. No, he's having a crack. Good on him. Can play. Yeah. So, yeah, good win for Tony Massey. He's uh, first time on the stream table. First time in front of the camera. No, he would have thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, that's why I don't get on the stream. My head's no good for TV either. <laughs> Suffering heavily from DP syndrome. I just don't like the angle of these cameras. They pick up that I'm wearing thongs all the time. <laughs> Uh, Gavin Roberts, uh, it's still nothing, nothing. So Clearly not using the pull stat right. app. Oh, there you go, Gavin yeah, Roberts. So, Pikey, yeah, pretty much in control on the reds, I'd say, with the black where it is. Yeah, that, a lot of these frames have been very... Uh, if he gets this over that corner, he's flying. Overcuts it. How's the weight? The weight's sensational. It is. Surely you played a smash double on the yellow here, Butters. How's the weight? He could lose a couple. Uh, yeah, all day long, mate. The reason I like it is because if you do open it up, you actually have a realistic chance of winning the frame because the yellow's in the middle of the table. You can get behind it, you can punch it off the red in well, the middle, open up the black. I'd do it and screw into the black as well, Jamie. So, you, you know, two birds. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Too many options. I think, I think the double is actually... Not as crazy as it looks. No, not at all. I think it's the right shot. He's tried to hold that to play this yellow up there. There he is. Straight in clean. Oh, no, that's... Uh, wow, was... that has just kept going. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it's not quite... I don't think it's quite good enough. I think that's turned out to be awesome. I'm actually filthy if I'm biking at that shot because that never looked anywhere near going up there. He's got to reassess now. Rod Arthur's given uh, Josh Boyle a bit of a run, 5 4. Have an updated pull stat, Dad. What's going on, mate? <laughs> There's the refresh. Oh, I was just about to read what a result that I wanted to see. Does it not auto refresh, Dan? That's that's a bit annoying. Oh, Steve okay. Halliday won, so that's all that matters, yeah. folks. All right. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well just stop the stream now. Turn it off, Dan. <laughs> Yeah, 8-0. They must have logged in and then just not bothered doing the scores. Yeah. Uh, Michael Reardon just got his nose in front in 6-5. I wouldn't actually mind going to watch the rest of that match. Just pushing him around, Pikey. Yeah. He's gonna, he wants to be a little careful because Josh is eventually going to find some room, have a crack, smash something inside this middle. Like that. That's a very good that's, shot. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now he's got an opportunity. Yep. Yeah, no, not that ball, mate. I think he just wants to get rid of it. I think he just wants to drop it in. But stay on the on the one near the, near the pocket. Oh, now Pike, he's got to play one of these two over the corner and then run that run that red up inside the yellow. 
this could get very messy. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That yellow is not in a hurry to go anywhere good. Yeah, and if Josh just smashes it, they all come out. You're except right. Except the one sitting over the hole. You're right, they do. And he kicks a red over the pocket he's got covered down here. Well, that's a strange choice of shot. Apparently, apparently they needed more friends. <laughs> bit of Minecraft going on. I reckon Pikey's actually trying to double out of the middle. No. Yeah, I reckon give he has. Give him a bit of credit, mate. I reckon he's trying to double out of the middle. What's the point of putting it in the corner pocket? There's no value in it. There's absolutely zero value. I still reckon he should play that shot. Uh-oh. Well, I thought he was going to lay right up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that shot. Nah. Nah, no good. I actually reckon play the, play the double, but not enough to get it to the yellow. Screw off it. And you, if you go into the yellow, you're going to pop the red in the middle. The, four, the little four-ball plant set for it. Or well, five ball actually. One, two, three, four. Yeah, double the double the red back under the yellow. Oh, anything could happen here. That's not turned out that bad. That's turned out pretty well. Black uh, still dodgy at the moment. No, he's just got to. He'll push something in front of the yellow up there. Yeah, I think you've got to be careful again to try and push something in front there. You can go game here. That's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I don't mind having to dip in myself. He really wants this pocket. I don't know why, but he really wants this pocket. Well, because when he plays the red onto the black onto the yellow, it sends it down here. I get that, but you're really going to allow... Is your opponent really going to lay to do that? Like, yeah, surely no, you've identified I, it already. Yeah, I but, totally agree with you, mate. I didn't see much value Because I'm it. playing the yellow right now. Onto the black, onto the red, up the rail, and push it leave him on the ball on the hole. Yeah, and push the yellow halfway up the rail. Now the red, sorry. Yeah, and make him pot the ball over the hole. What is this shot? Oh, he's just basically said, I want you to push the black down to my red. Well, he's left him on his one tricky ball in the middle. Well, this surely is a good chance of going here. Been a nice good cannon, nice nice fat half ball on the red. Where's he going? Is he not even going in the middle He's here? Playing it down here. Oh, these two are confusing me. Well, now he's got it off the red. Well, you don't need to now, I don't think. Just get over there, cut the red in and get the black out. Yeah, I reckon you're right. I reckon the black red is on. Oh, angry face there. Did you see angry face pike? He hasn't come far enough. Now he's got to play it off two cushions and land fat. He wants to land pretty much where that yellow is. In the middle of the table. I would pull up here and put the red over the hole. I'm six all. I'm pulling up. I'm putting the red over the hole there. He's, he's taken... He didn't take any time on that shot. No, he rushed it. Frustration, maybe? Uh, there's no need for throwing stuff around behind the bar. Now, Steve Halliday's actually gone over there to support Pikey, which is uh, is amazing because it did seem that all he cared about was his own win. <laughs> <laughs> say this is getting dangerous no it, you do find that you do find that mates will go and support mates when especially when they're struggling i know i had a few a few uh people come over to me today and give me a bit of support when i was four and five nil down and try yeah. and get me head back in the game i had them come over when i was good. ten seven down it was good 
It, feel, it feels good though when someone does that for you. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a great shot. It is. Needs to get a kiss here. He's okay. Yeah, but you want it, You really wanted to be playing the other one. You wanted to be playing the the red and getting the black out. Yeah, but you're just going to cop this, aren't you, Aaron? Just and so run you know. Down the rail. Well, you're just going to cop it. No, you, thank you. You have to now. No, you do now, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this shot. <laughs> to go 7-6, so at least it's not for the match. You know what he's got to do here? Play this with a heap of running side so you get inside and don't leave him the plant down the rail. Wow, that's actually that rolled hugging. in a fair bit. <laughs> I'd apologise too. He's missed it by a mile. <laughs> We might have to hit these with a level tomorrow. We'll all be settling into the carpet. Yeah, journey. they will have settled in for sure by now. Josh, would, uh, Josh is in all sorts. He's, uh, he, I think he was 7-1 up on Macca earlier and lost. He's just checking it now going, okay, yeah, I'll see what happened there. I love it. People come up to me and go, oh, the table's rolling off. You, ma you made them. Well... <laughs> you made them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, I made them. That's why they roll. So, is this the first time Poggy snuck his nose in front, or was he five, No, he got six? the five ball. So, this is his first lead, though. Yep. What a time to do it, to get on the hill. Sorry, everyone. I was nodding then. It's radio, not television, Jamie. So glad for my head. <laughs> Jeez, look at the reds here. Just, just your opener. Yeah, you know, one Dan's, good opening. You know, Dan's pot. throwing stuff around. I don't know what's going on in this place, but there's a lot of violence and anger. Yeah. And <laughs> what are you so angry at, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> People just throwing stuff at Rill. <laughs> Seriously, Pikey and Dan Lynch, two angriest people I know. I know you've been on holidays. Oh. You've been on holidays for 11 months. You're just angry that you're back. Yep. <laughs> Pikey has an enormous chance here to win the match at this visit. Open table on the reds. He's taking he yellows. Take, are you, He's, he you, cannot, you are, cannot be taking yellows. Okay, I am going to make the call right now. He thought it on was... On the gear. And you reckon he's out of Valium? <laughs> Something gear. How do you not... Oh, he must have just not realised. No, I reckon he's, he's thought he's on... Uh... Yeah, no, that's um, that's amazing. It's a bad it's a bad error to not notice it. Once again, running side, get a cannon on the next yellow and then you play the other one down. Like that. Oh, he, he would be absolutely wrapped with that outcome. Yeah, I can't wait to tell him it was open and show him this back. Steve Halliday's just gone, you know, it was open table, you dighead. I think you did too, and Poggy's gone, ah, it's all good, I'm in control now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, oh, I don't like this. He's I just, don't touch this ball yet. It's not just that, he's taken one step, he hasn't looked at anything else. Wow, and we, I was, I was about to unleash as much as you were, mate, but that's a great shot. He's played a fantastic <laughs> shot. He still should have had a look around and then played it. I would never have allowed the white ball to come down here at this point in the frame. That's close. No, no good. Covered the pocket. He'd be yep. happy with that. That's enough. Mind you, he's on in the middle. Yeah. Just drill it, run through, play the top right corner. Oh, I'll go for the float down. The float? The float down here. Floats down, just perfectly for the middle. Wow. No, that was, now he's playing the plant. That was a true float. That really was a true float shot. He's, uh, he's always been a floater. Look at Actually, that angry face. He's, he's not even close. Look at that angry face. I know. How intense does he look? <laughs> Scaring me. Oh, he where, might was be, that, where was that supposed to go? He might be at well, bottom rail, I'm guessing. I don't know. There's a wall of reds. Have a look at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally impossible to get past there. <laughs> It's like, that looks like some sort of trick shot. Maybe he thought he was the world's strongest man who's going to bash through It looks him. like a trick shot set up. <laughs> what the? F 
I nearly swore. <laughs> you, surely you go up and down there. You go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's there's a few brain fades happening at the moment, I reckon, folks. I, I I know we sound really harsh and critical, but it's. But it's, we can be because we've well, got the microphone. It seems so obvious yeah. when you're looking at the screen, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't on. It was on. Of course, it was on. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't on. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Well, let's spread them up. He, he didn't move that red up the top. He didn't. Oh, that's poor effort. There goes the wall. Yeah, the, well, that's the world's strongest man just blew yeah. it apart. Yeah. He's actually put himself in a bit of trouble. He. Eh? I know, but he's he's literally got seventy eight places on the table to hide behind now. Uh oh, that's not one of them. Now, yeah. what do you reckon? This is this is be cool. Pike he tries to chip the first one in with check side. Snookers himself. It turns and he chip, clips the first one and then hides around the back. <laughs> I think he's actually tried to double kiss that in. That was the only safe way of doing that. So Josh in all sorts, trailing 7-6, and it is only race to eight. It's the back half. Now he'll get that snooker that he was trying to get before. Yeah, he needs to flick off a quarter ball now, take it into the jaw. If he's worried about the in-off here, he should know better. Well, either that or you can hit it a bit fatter. Definitely can't go in off this. You have to bro brush have it to that thin it, to go in to, off. Yeah, that's right. The only thing I don't like about playing the snooker of this ball is you're almost guaranteed to just be sat behind Sitting it. behind it. But for the moment, you just want to stay alive a bit longer. Try and formulate a, another option. Maybe any way you can kill the black here. I'll tell you, the people at home must be going crazy right now for the 2020. They must be just going mental. Oh, this guy's taking like a minute. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, and I feel really bad for him all, Jamie. <laughs> what's he doing here? Cutting this in, is he? Oh, this looks close. He's That's all in. right. No, it's in. Wow, he's oh, woodsied himself Lord. in the corner. That's impressive. So now he's got to go across the table and hit that red. Yeah. That's all he can do. Oh, how about if he calls total and he just plays off the jaw and sits behind it, Jamie? What? What do you think of that? Just play off the jaw he's close to, not the one he's touching, the back one. Oh, and tries to run up onto the just, red. Yeah, it's not that hard a shot. Going across though. I'll tell you what, he's played as no good, terribly. I thought he played it well, but Pikey's even got a foul snooker here probably, but he won't take it. Just stun it with a touch of right hand side, Pikey. Don't Nothing fancy. Yourself. Ugh. Still all right. He played the uh, the flick off. Or do you play, do you do you play the bounce off or do you play the double to the middle here? I play it badly. You play it badly. <laughs> play the double to the middle. That's that's the, uh, that's the way I've got to go because I'm so bad at the other way. I, I play the touch shot the other way well, yeah. so and I don't you, like playing. You do that. it. You play yeah. it very well. You even play it when you shouldn't. When you should just pop the ball. Are you talking, are you, did, has Benny been talking to you? No, I've seen <laughs> you do it heaps of times. <laughs> But it works for you. It does. I'd so a good win for Pikey. Don't mess them up too much. Uh, remember, the ladies' match is in the morning, folks, uh, 9 o'clock, and back draw for the men's as well, and then all the big matches on at 12 o'clock where all the seeds running into each other. So good night from Bar 8, Cube All TV, and we will see you tomorrow. See you, guys.